Um, so those of you guys that guess, what does TTP mean? TTP stands for <laughs> There it is. Talk to people. It's just that easy. Uh, you can't do that. You can have, by the way, you can dream up $1.9 million in gross revenue for your company by doing one thing and one thing only. Talk to people. That's it. By the way, I asked them out front, Matt and I, uh, asked them out front, how many calls do you make a month? You guys maybe have heard the numbers. Does anybody want to take a shot at how many calls Brent and team make per month? What'd you say? More. More. 40,000 phone calls a month. 40,000 phone calls a month. Okay? So, if you want to make 1.9 million in revenue for your company, guess what you do? You try and talk to 40,000 people a month. That's all you have to do. It's really simple. Do you do anything else? Do you knock doors? No. Do you do direct mail? You do! Oh, so direct mail. Do you work your sphere? No? Do you list homes? Do you represent buyers and drive them around? No, get Paul Claire. Get Paul Claire. Yeah. Well, now we know why Claire's up there. Huh? <laughs> I'm the receiver. I'm the receiver of 40,000 phone calls of buyer business. That's awesome. So no, at the end of the day, you guys get it. How do you do it? You talk to people. Um, I do want to say for those of you that don't know, Dustin is uh, has filled in as broker, designated broker for us when Michelle is out of town. Um, I don't know if you guys understand the weight. That, your, that what your responsibility is as a designated broker for this company, right? Um, like, like you could just be sitting there one day and like a federal agent walks into your office and gives you a subpoena, right? You guys are like, whoa, seriously? Yes, seriously, that happens, right? And how much pay do you get when you fill in for Michelle and she's out of town? He's shaking his head like this, nothing. Right? I do it because I can, I'm capable, I trust you guys. Right. Besides that, he also has a team that cold calls, wholesale deals. Uh, Brent uh, is on our leadership group, and uh, Brent is a constant, consistent uh, inspiration for our leadership group. I know he's touched a lot of you, he'll share anything. Anybody who wants to learn to talk to people and stretch themselves, he's always had an open invite. Okay, always stands to this day. Is that fair? Both of you guys, okay? You can call him and go down to his office and he will stick a headset on your head and push go on a triple dialer and you will start talking to people. And he'll teach you the scripts, he'll show you the system, he'll teach you about the mojo dialer, he'll show you how he finds his leads, he has nothing to hide, he'll show you the whole business and you too can make $1.9 million with your revenue, right? But he will share in that way. Biggest inspiration for me, don't think I've shared this with him yet so far year to date, is that he decided to read, uh, make a goal for himself to read 52 books this year. One a week. How are you doing right now? Yeah. On pace. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Good. cool, two ahead by the way, he said, two ahead. Yeah. So 52 books this week, and uh, as a gift to us on our, the year, sorry, uh, as a gift to us on the leadership team, uh, and to inspire us to read more, he bought us all a book. And uh, maybe you guys saw it through an Instagram post the other day. It's the book's Elon Musk, right? And if you guys have any interest in people who think big, okay, like we're going to colonize Mars with humans, big, right? But because Google has so far advanced artificial intelligence, we're kind of dead. We don't know that. That's Elon Musk, okay? It's the most fascinating book I've ever read, and every single time I read it, all it does is make me think so obnoxiously big for all of us. Uh, so there's something really magical that happened from Brent giving me that book, uh, and there's a lot of those little threads, little, those little threads throughout our organization that continue to happen on a regular basis. Um, thank you, the book is sick. By the way, anybody who wants to take it from me when I'm done, go read it. Daniel, thanks for the to Alex. Um, so, love you guys. <laughs> Love you guys. Thank you, Brent. Thank you, Dustin. Appreciate it.